Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick video, you are going to see how to reset your Windows 10 back to the default factory settings. Now, this is a quick and easy way to solve several issues you may be having with your Windows 10, be it that your PC is unusually slow for no obvious reasons, is infected by viruses, you are running out of storage space, even though you haven't saved any big files to your PC, this happens a lot these days, or you just get other signs that your PC is not functioning as it should. Then one reliable solution would be to reset your PC back to the default factory settings, which we're going to be doing in this video. What this means is that you could actually have a completely new copy of Windows 10 running on your PC as though you just purchased a new PC pre-installed with Windows 10. Of course, this will depend on the options you select during the reset process and we're going to be seeing these options in a moment. You could also choose to keep your files after the reset process. However, I would rather back up my files, save all my software licenses and perform a complete reset where I remove all files, applications and settings because sometimes malwares may be embedded to some files or saved as a hidden file in an unknown location on your PC. So by removing everything, I can be sure of having a renewed running Windows 10 at the end of the process. In any case, this is quite an easy process and doesn't require any special technical skills. So let's get to it. Okay, so from your desktop environment, go to search and type reset this PC. Then click on reset this PC from the search result. It should take you to this recovery page from your settings. And under the reset this PC, click on get started. Then you should see these two options. One says keep my files and the other says remove everything. As you can see here, the Keep My Files option allows you to keep your personal files like your photos, your music, video, word files, PDF documents and all that after the reset process, but will delete your applications and settings. Now this would be a good option if the problem you encounter with your Windows 10 comes from one or more applications and for some reasons you are unable to uninstall these applications or after uninstalling the applications the effect or the problem still persists. The second option is to remove everything. Of course, this would completely remove everything from your PC, leaving you a renewed copy of Windows 10. Now, before using this option, please remember to back up your files and save your software licenses. As I mentioned earlier, this option is more likely to fix most of the problems you may be having with your Windows 10, simply because it removes everything. So whether the malfunctioning is coming from a corrupt file or from a corrupt application, this option will fix both problems. So I will click remove everything here. Then you will see another page asking if you want to clean the drives too. Again, I will suggest here that you remove files and clean the drive. Of course, this will take more time, but it gives you more confidence in the process and it's more likely to solve your problem. So I will select remove files and clean the drive. Then it warns me that this PC was recently upgraded to Windows 10 and that I won't be able to undo the upgrade or go back to previous version of Windows if I use this option. I don't mind, so I will click Next. Then it reminds me that resetting will remove personal files, user account, applications, programs and settings. Here I click Reset. From there the reset process will begin. Now this process takes quite a while in any case because it's pretty much like installing your Windows afresh. But depending on your system configuration and specifications, you might have some time savings on the process. So I will fast forward this part of the video.
Okay, so from here, the rest of the process is pretty much as good as just installing your windows. So here you choose the region. So here I will choose Finland. Then it asks <coughs> for keyboard layout. And here I would select finish. Then I would also want to add English, US. So I scroll down to English, United States. Then US keyboard. Here I will accept the license agreement. I would <clears throat> I would want to sign in using an just offline. I wouldn't want to sign in with for now, I, would, I wouldn't want to sign in with Microsoft account, so for now, I would just click no. And name here, I put easy text. No password for now, so I click next. And here, I would just want to turn off my location. You can choose what settings you turn on or off, depending on your preference. And then I hit accept. And that completes the process. What I now have running on this PC is as good as a newly installed Windows 10. And here I should mention that this reset process doesn't affect the activation status of your Windows 10. So right now, if I go ahead to check the activation status of my Windows, Here, as you can see, it says Windows is activated with digital license. And that completes the session. If you have any questions regarding the procedure in this video, please post in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a like if you found it useful, share with anyone you think might find it useful as well, and consider subscribing to my channel for more tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.